Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're doing a uh, walk around of the Donor Dodge. It's the one ton crew cab gasser truck. This truck's already been stripped down to bare metal. Gotten rid of that famous Dodge peeling paint that they're so well known for. Uh, it was metal treated. Then it was put in epoxy primer. It was sprayed with a gray epoxy primer first, which you can see on the inside of the cab and the doors. And then we uh, put a second coat of the red epoxy primer that I had, DuPont. And every nook and cranny has been coated and sealed. It has not been seam sealed. None of the bodywork's been done yet. It's ready to have the doors rehung and start prepping it for bodywork and paint. Then we'll put seam sealer in it and start getting it ready for paint. Uh, do a walk around so you can see the condition of the truck. These are the sections of the cab where they crack. And the factory put the two seams together and they put a butyl rubber tape to seal that. Isn't that nice a Dodge instead of welding it? Anyways, we've done uh, initial repair on this when we prepped the cab. We created an access hole into the cowl uh, for future in case we ever had to get inside there to clean it out. Make sure that it doesn't rot. Everything in the truck has been stripped down except for the seam sealer. Metal. This is something. Uh, we're going to address. I really don't like how the factory did that. I think they forgot what they were doing. They didn't finish it. It's all an epoxy primer, no seam sealer. Done some initial sanding to it. This is a really nice cab. Uh, we may clean up some of these uh, joint connections they used one two three four five six seven sections to make up the upper rocker on both sides really is in great condition got one dent right here somebody getting mad and popping the truck I think every truck around has that in there there's a good shot of the back how good shape it's in uh, we have fitted it for a new style third brake light with cargo lighting you can see we've already prepped and drilled for the uh, cab wraparound molding for the 84 style deluxe this truck originally came with the uh, stainless strip molding but because it was not a two-tone they didn't put this molding all the way across the cab, which we have, we found. So we'll be showing that. The doors. These two doors here are the driver and passenger front door off the Red 92. They've been stripped and put into epoxy primer. Uh, I have a step-by-step, -step, everything we did to get to that point, what we did, products that we used. There's the passenger side of the cab. We've done the repair here in the corner of the cab. When the lighting's better, I'll shoot some more video of this. There's the door jam. I don't know if you can see that too well in the video. We'll reshoot some of this. Kind of how it looks. Here are the doors. There's the driver's side rear door. It's stripped and mostly covered in epoxy primers. Some minor surface rust, but that'll all clean right up, as you know. There's the passenger side rear cab door. It's all an epoxy primer. No dents, dings. This, these are in really nice shape. No rot. There's the inside of the cab. 
There's the end of the side of the roof where we took the stampings and we cut them to make removable so we have access to the inside of the cab to treat the cab. There's the rear section. We made those as removable panels. Um, I have these. I have quite a lot of pictures of this that I can make a video to show you what we did for the roof, why, how we made those panels. Dash has all been stripped and epoxy primed. We have the original bed. No damage, well minor. It's got some storage marks. It's got a little crease in the side here. I know a good friend of mine does uh, PDR, paintless dent removal. That's how that dent's gonna disappear. While it was stored at my friend's house, he bumped it with his tractor, unfortunately. It's real minor though. Uh, pushed the bumper into the quarter there at the bottom and clipped it with his, I guess his PTO arm on the trailer when he turned. But uh, inside of the bed, in excellent condition. It's all original paint. It's not dented. Not a dent in that bed anywhere. Uh, it'll all be paint stripped, prepped, sanded, epoxy primed. We're not doing rhino liner. This will get body color. Um, this side has a little teeny dent I just put in when the hood damage happened. Same day, 30 minutes apart. I bumped it with the Dodge when I was pulling it on the slab, staging everything. Uh, this is the body cart that it's sitting on right now. Uh, the bed will be stored over there on the side, over there in the corner, on its end, wrapped until we're ready to do that. That'll be one of the last body sections prepped. It'll all be prepped separately on the rotisserie so it can be rolled around and cleaned up every nook and cranny. Uh, it'll be, the underside of this truck will be as clean as the rest of the truck. Uh, now we go to the frame. I mounted the frame on two Harbor Fre modified Harbor Freight 750-pound uh, tripod engine stands, and I had some leftover square tube from my building construction. Uh, the frame was completely disassembled, uh, except for two bolts here on either side. This is the upper shock mount right in front of the spare tire. Um, the last bracket, this comes out, it just gets flipped. This bracket is a uh, the carrier bearing support bracket. And on the D-series trucks, it's mounted upside down like this. And on the W-series trucks, it's mounted right side up. In a W series, the carrier bearing hangs. In a D series, the carrier bearing is supported. Uh, the frame is really in good condition. This rotisserie, this 150, less than 200 bucks to put it together. Um, rotisserie will make it easier to clean it, degrease it, de-rust it, uh, prime it, seal it, paint it. And then it'll go on the engine or the body cradle that the bed of the Dodge is sitting on right now. And then we'll begin the assembly of this two wheel drive frame into a four wheel drive frame from a D series to a W series. Um, the rear spring mount that goes down here uh, is from Jungle Gems. We have this factory steering gear uh, adapter plate. Uh, we have a uh, redhead, I think it's redhead steering gear box. Uh, restored the original steering gear box that came on this truck, which is the same as on the 92. Um, but they put roller bearings in it, put a quick ratio on it, uh, guarantee their work. They're 
Um, I can put a link in the description to them, but I'll tell you what, it's worth the money. Hands down, worth the money. None of the rebuilds you get from Napa, Auto Parts, from O'Reilly, Advance, all those guys, all the big stores, they're all rebuilt. They're not done to spec very well. They're all farmed out. It's all based on uh, get them in, get them out. So sometimes they don't even change the bearings in them. But anyways, uh, we have Jungle Gym Cross Supports. Uh, we'll reuse the core support bracket that mounts here on the side. Uh, Jungle Gym's front leaf spring mounts uh, tie the two front together. Support uh, gives it a lot more stability less, uh, by tying both sides together like that. Uh, but all that will be documented on the build. All right, guys, just kind of wanted to give you an update. Uh, and that is the donor for the W250 crew cab conversion. Rust free body, it's ready for paint. Hanging the doors, getting it ready, seam sealed, sanded, all final body work but it's straight as an arrow, so it won't take that long to get it prepped and ready for paint. Uh, running, driving truck, basically service maintenance. We gotta take it apart anyway, service it maintenance. Why don't we clean it and paint it when we put it on the new crew cab frame? And like I said, the bed will be last. Anyways, we'll give you an update later on uh, as we get things done. We still have a little bit of setup to do here in the uh, shop area. Try to get this car poured up, uh, but stay tuned. I'll be uploading some videos on the history of the 92, a uh, little history on some of the work that we have done ahead of time on the crew cab, getting it to where it's at at this point so that we can pick up starting with the frame for the conversion. Got to have a foundation, and this is our foundation. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a comment if you like the video. All right, folks, thanks, and I'll talk to you in the next video. See ya. Never had one of those days when nothing goes right. Your wife starts bitching about whatever it was she was bitching about last night. So you escape into the bathroom just to sit there on your throne. But after you finish your business, the toilet paper's gone. Well, it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. It's a bad day, so you better get off my back. You might get cold cocked <laughs> if you cross my path. Cause it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. <laughs>